environmentalists want it gone. It's time for you to clean it. Lawmakers want it done fast. We just can't kick it down the road anymore. It's caused great concern in my district. We need action with a sense of urgency from Duke Energy. But many communities don't want it anywhere near them. Let's get rid of it, clean it up. They're not considering Wake County, but why Lee County? So what do you do with more than 150 million tons of coal ash in our state? We actually need it and just can't get it. For the concrete industry, the coal ash problem is more of an opportunity. You can use it in your countertops, your driveways, sidewalks, bridges, anything that could be used with concrete. You can put fly ash in it. It makes it more durable. Fly ash, the fine powdery portion of coal ash, is required in many North Carolina building projects, and it actually makes concrete more durable and last longer. The Carolina Panther Stadium has ash in it. Once it's encapsulated, you put it in concrete, it's never harmful again. It could be 100 years from now that concrete gets broken up torn apart. It's not harmful to the environment. Henry Batten is president of Concrete Supply Company in Charlotte and showed us recycled ash in action. In fact, there's fly ash and there's a lot of fly ash in the Duke Energy Building in downtown Charlotte. Go figure, huh? Go figure. <laughs> These panels will soon be part of a parking deck. For the life of me, I just don't understand how Duke can't see this as the solution as opposed to let's go build a bunch of landfill somewhere. As Duke Energy has millions of tons of coal ash across the state, Batten's company uses about 250,000 tons of recycled ash every year. The problem is he can't get it from North Carolina. In fact, Batten says only about 10% of his supply is coming from our state, and the shortage is nationwide. Is it frustrating for you as a company? I mean, you're, we're drives sitting on... me insane. I can't buy ash. I'm buying it from five states. North Carolina's one, but the, the lowest amount of ash I get comes from North Carolina. And the whole industry is struggling in the entire southeast. There's a huge market, and it's not being met. Do you think over time we could potentially recycle all of the ash that's laid over the oh, state? Absolutely, absolutely. But the North Carolina Coal Ash Management Commission says that's a little far reaching. The problem with people looking to recycling is the golden answer is there's only so much that can be recycled. Duke Energy has about 108 million tons of ash stored in ponds and it's still generating another one and a half million each year. The concrete industry in North Carolina estimates they use about a million tons each year but says if there was a consistent supply of quality ash that number would greatly increase. If we were to convert all of our coal ash for use in concrete applications, we'd have far more concrete than we could possibly use. So we have to find that right balance between where the market is pulling and what we're able to create to meet that demand. Can the market be developed if the utility companies are willing to put in the extra work to make the ash usable? I believe that it can. But there's another major factor here, and that's time. State law says Duke Energy has 15 years to clean up all of its 32 ponds. The utility says while recycling is a priority, the timelines are tight and recycling millions of tons of ash would take decades. It is being used, but it is a limited application given the time frame. We have to find applications that are available now. For some, it's a waste. For others, a valuable material. They could become the country's largest remarket of ash because there's such a shortage of it and it could go up and down the east coast, all through the southeast, into the midwest. But Batten believes the solution is concrete. So do you believe recycling is the answer? It's the absolute answer. Jonathan Rodriguez, WNCN News.